You're looking at questions 83 through 85 of the New York State Chemistry Regents exam, June 2015. So again, there's information here and this picture of what's called a potato clock. You need to go ahead and process it, this information along with the picture and then answer the questions as best you can and then come back and we'll take a look at it together. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at what's called a voltaic cell for my potato clock because I'm taking chemical energy and transforming it into electrical energy. So when I look at question 83 it says state the direction on an electron flow from wire A as the two cells operate. Well I have a copper rod and I have a zinc rod. And if I go back and I take a look at the reading passage it tells me that the zinc atoms react to form zinc ions. So here I have zinc atoms becoming zinc ions. And what happens? It, if I get zinc ions, that means also that I have electrons. And what do electrons want to do? They want to flow. And they're going to flow from the zinc then to the copper. So there's your answer. Now again, how do I know that? Well, zinc becoming going from an oxidation number of 0 to plus 2 means that the zinc is being oxidized. That means over at the copper we have reduction. And loss of electrons, oxidation, gain of electrons, reduction. Leo goes Gur. It's just a way to remember it. Anybody that's ever taken chemistry knows Leo, the lion goes Gur. Then, what else do I know? I know now zinc, then, is the anode. There's another one. It's anox. The anode is where oxidation takes place. Red cat. Reduction occurs at the cathode. Electrons in a voltaic cell always go from the anode to the cathode. So it's another way to remember it. For question 84, it says to write the balanced half reaction for the oxidation that occurs in the potato clock battery. Well, we have it. It's actually right here. Let me put it in red. So I have my zinc atoms, an oxidation number of zero, yielding zinc ions and two electrons. And finally, in question 85, explain why phosphoric acid is needed for the battery to operate. Well, the phosphoric acid, let me just erase some of this so we can take a look at the reading passage here. It says that the hydrogen ions from, from the phosphoric acid uh, in the potato react and form hydrogen gas. Well, guess what? If I don't have the phosphoric acid, I don't have ions that are free to move. And if I don't have free moving ions, the clock for this potato battery clock won't work. Um, so again, the, the phosphoric acid is going to release ions, and those ions are free to move. So the, um, the moving of those ions, again, will conduct an electric current. This is the last question from the June 2015 Chemistry Regions exam. Check out more information more tips on passing the chem regions, doing well on the chem regions, doing well in chem chemistry in general at www.nychemcoach.com.